Hello everybody, Papa Blue Shirt here, going out on my ride. It is about 72 degrees, and uh, but we got rain last night, so let's see what the road's gonna look like. There's my miles when I start. Add 7,000 on there and you get 7,171. Starting to rack up a few miles here now, because it's getting warm enough to ride. <laughs> so let's get going. And Mama's gonna ride after me. She wants me to go out and see how windy it is. So <laughs> it's kind of windy today. So, uh, as you know, I don't let that bother me usually if it's warm enough, even when it's not. Sometimes uh, I've been out when it's 50 mile an hour winds and <laughs> hardly stay on my bike. And the adventure starts now. Well, as usual, getting out of my driveway will probably be the most exciting part. <laughs> I'm getting wet or muddy, as the case may be. A little bit cooler out here than what I was thinking it was. I didn't wear nothing but my light little shirt. I'm just hit my leg. You know, I know what it was. Something hit my leg. It might have been one of those little pine cones. I was hoping it wasn't a snake. So if this is the last video you see, you'll know what happened. <laughs> of course, if it was a snake and it bit me, then I wouldn't get the video out and you wouldn't see this anyway so that wouldn't work <laughs> uh, we have a lot of snakes around here a lot of snakes i guess our area is one of the most has some of the highest populations of uh, poisonous snakes in the world i think it was Cottonmouth. This area has one of the highest populations of cottonmouths in the whole country. I see a lot of snakes, but I stay away from them. Also have a brown recluse. Spiders, they kind of freak me out too. Man, I seen the spider in my grow room the other day. <laughs> Made my skin crawl. It was huge. It was about that big. <laughs> well, if I can find a video of it, I'll put it up here. It's, it was something. Look what I'd seen on my wall. It's kind of scary. I don't know what it is. Rain last night, and they said they're not supposed to get much rain, no rain today, but boy, it sure looks like it. I might want to ride closer around the house so it wouldn't take long to get home if it starts raining. There's the dog. There's the dog. There's the dog. You didn't see me fast enough, did you? two little uh, pool type dogs there and they'll just run out and they'll kind of play with each other and kind of go after you and then there's a little white dog there that has a personality that's much bigger than himself and, uh, he just comes out and thinks he owns the world but if you stop it blows everything because you blow his cover and uh, he'll just crawl back in the weeds and look at you he doesn't know what to do. That's how it is with a lot of these dogs. They just, they just bark because they're right, because you're moving. They don't know what to do. Ah. Oh, beautiful day, other than the wind. And like I said, it feels a little bit cooler than what I was anticipating. I'm not cold by any stretch of the imagination but not hot either <laughs> Here. He said, What's an Amish phone booth? Oh, there it is. 
Someone took down my stop sign. I was waiting in the road. Let's give him a bone when we come back, maybe. I watched a video the other day of a 86 year old guy and a 91 year old woman still riding bikes. They're actually riding the tandem. They're actually riding the tandem where they can go ride together. She's ridden over 25,000 miles and never had to steer. <laughs> so I think that'd be kind of nice. If I think about it, I'll put a link to that video in the description. It seemed like a happy couple. Seemed like a happy couple. Of course, how can you not be happy and be riding the bike? Okay, if it's raining or something, <laughs> it's cold, yeah. But. People who ride bikes, they ride because they enjoy it. Yeah, well, the sun's peeking out a little bit here, but... Yeah, look what's up there. That was a nice design car for the year. Studebaker Hawk. Yeah. Watch him. I got an old 47 Ford convertible that my dad got, actually my father-in-law got when he was uh, 22, I think. So my wife was just a little, just a little thing. She remembers riding around in it, working on it while dad was trying to fix it out. So yeah, a lot of nice old cars out there. A lot of them have a lot of history to them too. To meet a car. I have not met a car yet. Come six miles. I haven't met a car. That's how I like to ride. Saw a nice bluebird. That was pretty. There's a there's a cardinal, redhead woodpecker. Well, today's my bird watching day, I guess. Here should be some boxers. No boxers aren't birds. <laughs> it's their dogs. Hey, it might be too early for them to be out today. has this back road has got a lot of a lot of dips and dumps and places without no, no road you can see where the water will gather make it look all hilly oh, yeah, 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 yeah. ever notice how certain smells or certain sounds will bring back memories just run through an area there that smell like like pine and it brought back Two distinct memories. One when I was a, when I was a kid, and the other one last year when I when I did the face plant in the woods. <laughs> I went through some pines afterwards, and so that's in my mind now. And uh, yeah, we live in the Amish area, and they burn wood for heat, 
that brings me back to a lot of memories from my childhood. We used to go to a church that that uh, that burned wood was the only source of heat. Yep, they even had an outhouse. But we were really sophisticated because we had a his and a hers outhouse. <laughs> we were moving up, let me tell you. His and the hers outhouse. But then uh, when I hear the scream of a blue jay, that brings me back to the little churches I went to when I was young. And so something, I think that's why white people like to listen to, to oldie channels because those songs, they bring back certain memories. Makes them think about the times when they were young. But, you know, there's, there's certain songs I really like, but I don't like the message of them. You know, like the, the Tennessee Waltz. It's a beautiful song, but when you take time to listen to the words, you know, he introduced his sweetheart to his best friend as she danced with him, and he stole her away. <laughs> That's a sad song. Sad, sad song, but the song got such a good it has such a good melody that it, it has such a good melody that it became a hit. Well, either that, or there's a lot of people that their their friends stole their sweetheart. That's one thing. I'm I'm old fashioned, and. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine out dancing with anybody else's wife or, or sweetheart. I just, I just wouldn't do things like that. I learned that real, real fast when I was young before I got married. Actually, it was right after we got married. We went to a camp, a church camp, and I was in that awkward stage between, between being an adult and. Oh my God. Bugs really grossing me out because you don't know where they've been. <laughs> Anyways, we was at a uh, church camp and I was a counselor and uh, this young 16 year old girl come and hopped on my back, you know, to give her a pony ride. And uh, your natural reflex is to grab them because you know, if someone hops on your back, your natural instinct is to grab them. Otherwise, you hurt yourself. And uh, all it took was one look. All it took was one look from my wife, and I knew, oh boy, something just happened here. I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and so, honey, when you watch this, it was just a reflex <laughs> for the five thousandth and eighty second time. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's things like that that you apologize for the rest of your life. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm glad it, it was something just as innocent as that. <laughs> I don't want to be having to apologize for nothing else. <laughs> yep, yeah, if I remember, I'll put a little snippet in there of, of uh, a tally from the box tops. He got some videos of his mother. She's like 94 years old. And she sings, and uh, she does such a good job. And so, and then put a link to that video in the description. Because that just really blesses me. She sings a lot of songs with, I think it's her daughter-in-law, but I'm not for sure. Uh, it could be her daughter, who knows. I, haven't watched the channel for very long but uh, she's kind of getting famous in her own right for singing those songs and I think that is so neat when they when they pay honor to the, the older generation 
something that this new generation doesn't seem to do with as much. Back when I was growing up, you'd always you'd honor the older generations. But I think we're losing a lot of that. So it always blesses me when I see it. Yeah, I wonder if my dogs are snoozing in the road up here again. <laughs> They hear cars better and so they get out of the way, but sometimes on a bike I'll come right up on them. And every once in a while that dog disappears and you never see him again, so that's probably why. There he is. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Oh, the wind's blowing around pretty good. He's out laying in the sun. He's out laying in the sun. He didn't care. Didn't care today. Getting too hot for him to chase cars, I guess. And bikes. <laughs> yeah, we've got so much rain that farmers don't have the fields planted yet. Ours was just planted the other day. He said he was a month, a month behind because of the rain. Just got it in the field just in time for got more rain. So we'll be able to watch the corn grow over the summer. Then in the fall he'll plant some wheat for us. A dog chasing me. And he knows that this road's a dead end. <laughs> He's gonna be waiting for me. But they got two great big great days but they're so old they can hardly walk <laughs> there he is just waiting for me he knows he's smart he knows that this is a dead end road and i gotta come back oh hey buddy hey buddy here you go there you go see there's a great days <laughs> Hey buddy. It was a windy day, but I made it. I made it back. And uh, I told I told everyone that I was apologizing for the five thousandth and something time. What are you guys laughing at? I'm just chewing my gum. <laughs> are you eating cookies or something? No. no? We're chewing gum. You're gonna ask me what I was apologizing for? What are you apologizing for, Dad? <laughs> Did you get yourself in trouble again? No, it's just an old one. <laughs> oh, what, what's the matter? Talking about when that girl hopped on my back at, at camp. <laughs> that was not a good time. <laughs> Why are you talking about that? Because uh, I was talking about all songs to bring back memories. And, oh, really? And birds. and. Well, what brought back memories of her? Well, it, it wasn't no her. See, I'm already getting in trouble. I'm trying to make light of this, and I'm already getting in trouble again. It was to her. It wasn't no... It wasn't her. It was a girl that jumped on your back. I don't know how I got on that subject, but I'll have to look at the video and see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm a very jealous wife. <laughs> I don't care. We've been married almost 50 years, but I don't care. Been together like I years. said... I had nothing to do with it. I didn't tell the girl to hop on my back. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did not. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You were no. my bone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> and so the next time you'll see me, I'll have a, a cover over my eye, and, and I'll be limping. And, then, I don't really know how and you'll know why. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. It just happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, I apologize again. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm her Santa Claus, remember? Yeah, look who got her. Yeah. I mean, look who got you. Yeah. Me. Yep. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I don't even remember who, who it was. No, I don't either. Okay, it was just that's good. <laughs> it was just a girl camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember now why I was talking about it. <laughs> All right. This is why I was talking about it. Okay. It's because I was talking about people listening to old songs 
and I said, and we was listening to a song the other night that was an old song that brought back a lot of memories, but I didn't really care for the words of the song. The song was the Tennessee Waltz. It talked about how, you know, he introduced his, his sweetheart to his best friend and his best friend took his sweetheart away. Right. And that's how I got it on the set. Okay. Moral of the story, don't dance with somebody's best friend. That's what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, don't dance with nobody else. I said, no, I don't do that stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. That would feel so awkward. <laughs> oh, we're old fashioned, okay? Yeah. I'll sing and dance for you. Yeah, me too, baby. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you. Well, thanks for riding with me today. This is Papa Blue Shirt. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride. And be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good Lord take a liking.